I'll be the first to tell you, I'm even more interested in this year's women's NCAA tournament than I am the men's. I'll watch the men's like crazy. As crazy as I think it is, I will watch like crazy. But I'm captivated watching Caitlin Clark. I don't think Iowa is great. She is, but they aren't. But I'm still in awe of what the NCAA did to her and to the Hawkeyes. Handicapping them into the by far toughest regional, by far the tough. It, th this is the death regional. This is murderer's row. So now Iowa's path is going to be, if the seeds hold, they're going to have to deal with Kansas State. They played Kansas State twice. Kansas State beat them at Iowa, 65-58. Then they revenge. They got some revenge, 77-70 on a neutral site floor. But they got to deal with Kansas State early. And then to get to the Final Four, they're either going to have to deal with LSU, who waxed them last year in the national championship game. Angel Reese and LSU is a three seed. And somebody's going to come out of LSU UCLA, which went 25 and six in by far the strongest conference this year, the Pac 12. Lord have mercy. So you're going to have to play the winner of Angel Reese and UCLA just to get to Cleveland in the final four. That's just not fair. And then at the Final Four, you're going to have to deal with, if you're Iowa and Caitlin Clark, two USC's. One of them is the University of Southern California. And the other is the University of South Carolina, which is easily the best team in the country. So you're going to have to deal with both, bang, bang. And if, if somehow Caitlin Clark leads Iowa to this national championship, she will have earned every last step. I hope you enjoyed that video. You ready for more? Make sure you click that subscribe button for all the exclusive content from the Skip Bayless Show. And don't forget to check out the full episode of the show wherever you get your podcasts by clicking the link in the description.